Hey there riders, Moto Geno Chris here. I'm really quickly gonna install the new Arrow exhaust I've got for Project Ninja 400. This is the Arrow Racetech dark aluminum exhaust because I reckon it's gonna match kind of what the old one somewhat looks like, except way, way cooler. And also because the whole bike is really blacked out, I thought that would work better for the overall look. And I reckon if you've got a black Ninja 400, it's gonna look even hotter. Uh, I love the KIT edition, so I think it's gonna work really, really well with that, but we'll see how we go. But the main thing is just giving a bit more exhaust note, looking a little bit nicer, and uh, just giving the bike a little bit more character because it is very, very quiet as standard, unless you're really revving it hard. So I've got all my two tools laid out here. I'll quickly pan the camera over them in a second. I've kind of tried to do something that I don't usually do, Try to just get all the tools I'll need handy so that I can just do this really, really quickly. If you're doing this job yourself and you've got a limited toolkit, it's worth checking before you start the job, just so that you're kind of aware of what you need. You can go and grab it all and can do it all in the one go. It'll make it 10 times easier, believe me. So let's get started fitting this exhaust. I've got the instructions here. First step is pulling this off. So there's a small clamp onto the mid-pipe hidden away that does need to be undone and slid down to release the exhaust shield. Naturally, I jinxed it, declaring myself ready. Okay. So I made that look really, really difficult. Essentially one bolt there, this little bracket here, which you just had to loosen and slide up the exhaust pipe. And it also just hooks in under there. So that comes off pretty easily. And I'm just gonna put that somewhere. I'm gonna put that in the arrow box. I'm gonna keep all of this because if I were to sell the bike, I'd take this off and sell the exhaust separately and recoup some of my money. Okay, next step, we're gonna pull off the mounting bracket that goes on to the pillion peg. Now for anyone wondering, uh, 10 mil socket, 12 mil spanner on the other side. Unscrew that. And the exhaust is now just hanging free. As you can see there. Okay, so next bolt, this one here, it goes through to a captive nut so we don't have to worry about the, about the other side. Just need to loosen this off. And essentially, what this one here does is that just pinches the exhaust onto the mid pipe. Okay, nice and easy. Now to pull that off. Terrible choice of words. Okay, and it just slides straight off. Really, really easy. I'm gonna chuck that in the box. And in comparison, got my arrow exhaust there and man, it is so much lighter. It really is a good weight saving. Now, of course, I am not gonna do what I usually do and just rush in. I'm gonna have a quick squeeze at the instructions, which are uh, very, very basic, which is good because it's a very basic job. So essentially what we need is to make sure that we've got this rubber system here ready to go around the exhaust. Okay, 
So I have got the clamp there for the exhaust. As you can see here, there's a little bit extra rubber. It's not quite a perfect shape for the application, but I will just grab some scissors and trim that back and we'll be good for the next step. Okay, all trimmed back as required and ready to go on the exhaust. What we do need is we need this extra beefy version which comes with the Aero exhaust and that is going to be the mid clamp. That also has a captive nut and that's going to make it a hell of a lot easier for us to clamp that into place. Okay, next job, we've got to chuck on our clamp for the exhaust. Now, as you can see here, there's a lot of free pay play, and obviously that system does need to be mounted at the pillion peg mounting point. I'm going to try not to scratch anything. This clamp connects onto the black bracket, which then connects onto the pillion peg mount. A bolt is provided for the arrow exhaust clamp and you reuse the original bolt and nut and washer and all that stuff on the pillion peg mount. See the pick for the correct clamp install, which essentially means it's as tightly clamped on as possible so the exhaust doesn't move. Getting the exhaust clamp and the bracket aligned is a little bit of a fiddly job, so it can take a bit of messing around. Okay riders, so what we have done is we've got the bottom clamp on the exhaust just here. As you can see, that holds the entire exhaust onto that mid pipe. Then what we've got is we've got the clamp that goes onto the exhaust itself. That connects on there with a bolt and a nut on the other side. And as you can see here, I have not tightened it up yet. And then it connects back on via this small black bracket to the original mounting point the exhaust used with the original mounting bolt and nut. So that's all back in place. Now it's just a matter of tightening all of that back up and getting it in essentially roadworthy condition. So there's the three mounting points for this exhaust, the two up at the pition hanger and the one down at the mid pipe. The last job I always do is double check everything is tight and they'll need checking again in a few days and a few weeks down the track. And as always when doing a job like this, just be careful with all the clearances because otherwise what will happen is you will scratch your brand new part which I definitely didn't do there and it will have just arrived on the bike which is a real bummer. Bolts just to make life interesting or that my rather crappy little socket does not like staying in the right orientation. And now is a wonderful time to realize that I did that wrong. A nice, easy, quick me. Pick me up there. Yeah. 
And there we go, Arrow Exhaust installed. As I said, it took me a while to do that just because I was taking some photos and doing various things, but quick job, easy job, nothing complicated about this at all. It's uh, mainly 10 millimeter Allen keys required. Um, on the cover, I think there was an eight, on the old exhaust cover there was an eight, and uh, basically 10 mil bolts and a couple of 12 and 13 mil nuts. So the amount of tools required are very, very easy as well. Nothing really to worry about there. Very easy first time job if this is what you want to buy and what you want to chuck on your Ninja 400. And let's start it up and see how it sounds. Now don't forget if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment, let me know what you think about the exhaust and the bike and how it sounds. This does not have the baffle out yet, I'm going to do a future video on that when I've got some more time to go for a ride and do a proper comparison, but stay tuned for that as well. And let me know what you think, stay safe out there and I'll be back soon.